How's it going, everyone? Mufasa75 here, and I'm going to be taking a look at uh, the latest Star Citizen PTU update, which is Alpha 3.3.0x. I'm going to jump on in here. I actually done a session earlier today, about 45 minutes, and it went pretty well. Um, it started off really, really nice and responsive. Everything was nice and smooth. Frame rates are okay um, for me. But then um, after I went to Levski, then things kind of went on the blink. So we're going to see if um, it'll be better this time. So loading in. Hopefully it's going to be fine. Hmm. Uh-oh, we're going to have a server hang-up bug again. Maybe so. All right. So let's go on ahead and, yeah, it's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to exit out of this. Okay. So, as per usual... Go and delete my user folder, and that'll solve it. At least it usually does. It's just annoying that I have to do this, but you know, it's it's a thing. They they really I think they should put in a delete your user folder automatically function. Or you know, a little checkbox you can click, you know, delete user folder on you know before startup or whatever. Okay, I'm going to keep that there because I'll have to do some finagling for my controls. Empty the recycle bin. And jump in again. All right. And here we go. That was really funny. It was the last time I had trouble getting into the game. It was because... Um, uh, CIG had just at that moment pushed out this X patch. So, cool if they were now just pushing out the Y patch. But anyway, because yeah, I, I suspect there's going to have to be a Y patch, maybe even a Z patch. And then what? Double A? Double B? So. That's all right, though. You know, I want, want it to be good. It'll be like A, 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 B, A, C, maybe. There we go. Okay, let's do the usual debug commands here. Our display info equals three. Tell me about my frame rate. Let's make my usual adjustments. Because that's what I got to do. Hallelujah. It's funny that you have to decide that twice. Okay. And then I do this. Exit out again for just a moment. Copy. Go into my newly created user folder. Controls, mappings, and paste in my mappings. Mm -hmm. That's a neat little trick. You know, you go create your, uh, your um, control map. Then go into your user folder, controls, mappings, then copy this file, and then paste it just into the live folder so you can just go back to it instead of having to do it all over again. So, good to go. So now back in the game. Okay, go to key bindings. Joystick to Kotas. Doink. And apply it to everything. Now I'm ready to go with my custom mappings. All right, let's jump in the universe. Well, it looks like it saved my character appearance. Make sure of that. Yep, that's the closest representation I have to myself, so keep that. And let's do this. <clears throat> so this is my second time loading into this version of the game. All right. 
And the thing was, I went to Levski, and that was the last big location that I visited, so I wonder if I'm going to wake up in, in Levski this time. We'll find out. If the game will allow me to... Uh, and... Yep, I believe that's Levski. Yep. I recognize that. Frame rate is... Okay. Yeah. Well, for me, that's typical Levski. Definitely needs more optimization, but... Anyway. Okay. Well, while I'm here, let's go t test out Teach's ship shop. Now, when I was messing around with this earlier today, um, the inventory was not implemented. <laughs> so I don't know if that was a server-side glitch or an error in the code, but we're going to find out. Okay. There's... Customs. Hello, random person in the way. All right, there we go. Let's see, Teach's Ship Shop is down here. Okay. So we'll take a look at this. Call elevator. Very nice. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Well, yeah, I thought I hit that. I'm just not hearing it make the elevator sounds. Hmm, there we are. Whoa. Whoops. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Well, let's see. And it appears to be inventory free. <laughs> As I said earlier today, when I saw this, uh, Quoting a line from Red Dwarf. Uh, guys, we got a problem! <laughs> so... No ship buying right now, because there's no inventory. So, I'll get out of here. I'll spawn one of my smaller ships. Test that quantum jump thing that's going on now. And... See if, uh, see if there's inventory, like, at the truck stop or something, because that was another issue. Yeah, okay, we seem not to be having sound right now in the elevator. Or at least in this elevator. So that's an issue to fix. Yeah, none of that grindy lift sound. So I have no idea if we're moving at all. Nope, oh, there we go. The frame rate was pretty good in there, but all right. I will pull up... Whoa, hello. Okay. I'm going to pull up my Avenger. All of our landing areas are currently full. Hmm. Please hold for assignment. Yeah. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Ooh, okay. And there we go. Okay, so I have a few little glitches there, but you know, whatever. Nothing to lose sleep over. All right.
else? There. All right, so just wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. Okay. To the hangar. Ah, now we have sound in this elevator. That's a good thing. Did you know that it's functioning? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Hello, random person. Random dude. Hmm. I guess dreads are kind of a thing at Levski. All right. All right. Well, let's climb on board my ship. There we are. Enter ship. And up we go. Cool. All right, let's activate ship systems. Very good. Now, let us do this. Go there, comms, and Levski landing control, I can tell, is that one. Now. Excellent. And hangar bay doors are sliding open, and we thrust upward. Pretty good response. Again, control responsiveness has been pretty good. Frame rate's low. I just pressed my landing gear switch and nothing happened. Let's try it again. A little sluggish. It's not working. Hang on. Come on. There we go. All right, I had to push my landing gear control four times. Earlier, when I played it and launched from Port Olisar, I only had to press it once. So, again, there's some hang-up or other. Don't know why. Boosting. Let's... Okay. Okay. Nice to see the pitch ladder. That's a nice thing. We should be exiting gravitational influence and atmospheric influence in a minute. I think it's eight kilometers. Right, almost there. And there we go. So now we can just thrust ahead and go however many clicks per second I want. Okay, let's go someplace. All right. So there's Delamar, the misplaced moon, or asteroid. That normally would be, I think, what in the Nix system. Um, there's the planet Crusader, where we're going to go. But I want to go beyond there. I want to go here, to this truck stop. So I'm going to click on it. Click Set Route. Okay. That's all set. Let's close up the map. And I do want to comment that um, I have been I've been really pleased with how the star map is functioning. Now, this is a thing that needs to be fixed. It appears that my direction of travel is offset from, you know, look at my heads-up display. Okay, now this is good response here. Activating my quantum. And go. Yeah, you see that? It's like forward momentum is actually like slightly to the left and above where it really ought to be. Maybe a thing worth fixing? I think it is. 
So far, I'm liking this, and the frames are good. And I'm running, by the way, a low-end, a pretty low-end CPU, an AMD FX8350, but I've got a Radeon Fury Sapphire video card. Okay. Okay, so this was the thing where they put a limitation on quantum travel. So I have to let my drive recharge. Okay. So. Yeah, this adds an extra degree of, of difficulty, but I really can't complain about it. I really can't. I actually found myself witnessing quite the debate in one of my Discord chat rooms um, on this, but yeah, this does not hurt my feelings. It's, you know, and I imagine that if you get a better quantum drive, you'll be able to jump further in a single jump. But this, this makes sense. It's, you know, incentive to improve your ship before just going and buying another one. <laughs> okay. And again, we wait. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that direction of travel thing is a little annoying. Um, suggestion, CAG, when... Um, your drive fully charges again. I don't see there being a good reason to um, move your sh crosshair off your destination and then put it back on again. Like, I guess you could argue it's to clear the memory or whatever, but I, th th that should just automatically happen. In my humble opinion. Okay, okay. And there's the big old planet. I'm on the dark side of it. That's awesome. Look at that. Alright, so now I go to the orbital maneuvering satellite. Lock onto that. Again, responsiveness to the controls is really good. And 80 frames per second right now. This is great. I don't know if that means the server is not very burdened with players right now, or if OCS is just doing its job so well. Um, could be both. But so far, few complaints. Just fix that inventory bug. It teaches, okay? There we go. And then, f finally, to my... F okay, so this is probably going to be a three-hop jump or trip. And here we go. graphics for these um, you know that, that first jump had a lot of graphical glitches and animation glitches but now it's a lot smoother and again it, it's because of where I am and OCS is working or fewer users online I don't know but so far I'm pretty happy alright pull me out So it's about a million clicks per jump in an Avenger with this jump drive, quantum drive. 
Okay. Drives cooling down. Okay. Come on. There we are. Yeah, th that's a thing I will adamantly say I, I would like to see fixed. I should not have to maneuver around and refocus on target. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Spooling my engine. Spooling is up. Hit it. Again, good controls responsiveness here. This is very good. So again, that must be a function of frame rate. But can't complain. So... Now here's a question. As I'm using up fuel, my ship's becoming lighter. Am I traveling further in quantum as a result? <laughs> Just barely where... Okay. Just barely. Almost there. Alright. Now I imagine this is also an opportunity for some random encounters to happen, too. Come on. There we go. Drive spooling complete. I think that that engine noise is not the right one. Or it's backwards. Quantum travel initiated. Okay. travel complete you mean and I believe there is my destination right over there yonder <laughs> okay yeah okay another thing suggestion for CIG can we get uh, an icon for this destination I mean I, I get the idea you know if you we should just look for it it's like Mm, no, I should. There should be a little diamond on my HUD saying, "This is your destination." I mean, come on, it's the thirtieth century. <laughs> this whole, you know, hunt for the object, you know, it can be interesting, but it's, it's a little annoying. Or at least, can I get a more sophisticated sensor that will point that out? Okay. Let me check this out. This is well done. There's some weird glitches there in the graphics. That happens to me a lot. That little weird wrappy aroundy thing. That's a technical term. Wrap. Hmm. Okay. Where am I going here? Am I underneath it? Yeah, I think I am. Alright, well, let's... <laughs> Exit zero cheat, no thank you. Alright, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Down here! There we go. The zoom in function works. There we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, these are the landing bays here.
Okay, there we go. Oh wow, is it the hangar? Ah, look at that. That's cool. I am. I'm still waiting. Okay. Oh, is that a hammerhead? I believe it to be. Cool. And a freelancer. That's what I've got. That's my ship of choice. It's landing gears down. <laughs> okay. Same with this person. That's a hammerhead right there. That ship has three decks and you can walk around inside of it. It's remarkable. Yeah. And the freelancer is, you know, not tiny either. You know. It's about the size of a, you know, a flying tractor trailer with the trailer in it and you walk through the trailer into the cab so look at that I'm still waiting so we're in a holding pattern here <laughs> Is it really? Hydrogen fuel at 100%. Somehow I bet that's not true. Look at that frame rate's still pretty good. Hmm. Right. I wonder what, um... Try it again. I don't know if selecting it again will make a difference, but let's try it. Oh, check it out. The hammerhead is moving. <laughs> Watching these ships. Ooh, look, the hammerhead moved. <laughs> it's like, it's like you're looking, you're in the reptile house waiting for the big constrictor snake to move. <laughs> or some other big animal at the zoo. Move, move. <laughs> There's a couple of ships coming in. Yep. yep. We're all just hanging out at the truck stop. I wonder if anyone's got anything helpful to say here. Okay, so we're having a little bit of a problem here. Let's take a look at the star map. Ugh, not a lot of fuel. Well, I could theoretically get back, get to Port Olisar. Kirsten L3. I gotta say, I love this. Look at the map of the Hurst, of Hurston, of the Stanton system. Looking forward to being able to go to Hurston. That'll be great. So obviously the route would have to be go to here and then you fly to Hurston. Hurston L3.
Connection lost. That's not good. Huh. Okay. I've just been kicked out. Which means I will be... Spaceports. Bad token. Bad token. I wonder if that means there's an update coming. Alright. Well, let's back out. Let's quit. See what happens. Okay. Let's see if anything's come through in my. Hmm. Nothing that I see here yet. Hmm. Hmm. Not. No. And that's that's what doesn't have doesn't he have the app the X patch information on it. See what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's getting awfully late, so I think I'm actually going to uh, call it a night. But you know, there are a lot of really good things going on with uh, Star Citizen. I'm looking forward to seeing it continue to improve. I feel like the trend is heading toward improvement. You know, take a two steps forward, step back, a couple steps forward again, and it's, you know, it's like a, a, a line graph. It looks like a jagged mountain, but it's going progressively up. So, that's it for now. Mufasa75 saying, take care for now.